Hello everyone, today we have a few articles, interesting articles about health related, about how walking can uh, cut down the risk of diabetes, and also we have an interesting article on uh, uh, a company that makes chopsticks, that you're able to make your own chopsticks, so that should be interesting, and then if we can get to it then we have about uh, chia seeds, that uh, the uh, power of chia seeds to, uh, to help with protein, that it has protein. Anyway, let's get to the articles, in the, so we'll get to be brief. Let's take a look. That's the first thing let's take a look at is, <clears throat> the first thing we'll take a look at is, right now, walk off your diabetes risk. Let's take a look at this. This is from Energy Times, February of 2000. Walk off your diabetes risk. Better put on your traveling shoes. The list of beneficial reasons to start walking only continues to grow and grow. A recent landmark study shows that Quickly striding for an hour a day, even if you break your stroll into several installments, can cut your risk of developing diabetes nearly in half. These conclusions were drawn from the influential Harvard School of Public Health study published in the October 20th, 1999 Journal of American Medical Association which kept track of the lifestyle habits habits of more than 70,000 nurses for eight years. Among that group, the 14,000 that exercised the most were 54% as likely to develop type 2 adult onset diabetes as the 14,000 that exercised the least. were only 50% as likely to develop type 2, type 2 adult onset diabetes as the 14,000 that exercised the least. In other words, they were half as likely to develop this. So the 14,000 that exercised the most were half, a little bit more than half as likely to develop type 2 diabetes as the 14,000 that exercised the least. So that's a good incentive for us to be, to be walking and to be exercising. When the researchers just looked at walking as an exercise and excluded other activities, they found important benefits. Among women whose only exor exercise was walking, those who walked longest and fastest were only 50%, 58% is likely to develop diabetes as those who walked the least. So in other words, the women that walked the longest and the fastest, fastest were they, they, got, they developed diabetes only at, at, less, at, at more than half. They were less than half the amount of those that walked the least. In other words, the walking cut down their chance of getting diabetes by 58%. According to lead researcher Frank, Frank B. Hugh, some of these benefits are due to exercisers' lower weight. Reduced weight lowers your chance, reduced weight lowers your chances of developing diabetes, but walking improved health even those who were heavier. But walking improved health even among those who were heavier. So in other words, even if one is heavy, one, if one starts walking, one is able to improve one's weight, one's, one's health, and of course weight also. So that is, one, so that is walk off your diabetes risk. Okay, let's we'll go on from there.